Welcome back ladies to this clown's garage. In this video I will be changing the driver's side heat door actuator of a 2007 Impala. Now this is the same for all 9th generation Impalas. So anything from a 2006 to 2013 it's exactly the same. Now in my channel I also have videos on how to change the passenger side heat door actuator and blend door actuator. So check out the description below for those two links. In this video I'll be changing the driver's side heat door actuator. So pretty much any time you, you uh, change the heat level on the driver's side, that's when you're going to hear that clicking noise. So now I'm going to start the car and you're going to hear the ticking noise. Now ticking noise is on this area over here you're going to hear it. So the driver's side, it's actually under there but the noise travels up here. So, let me start the car and you'll see what I'm talking about. So that's the sound. So, let's get to it. Alright, now I'm underneath over here, underneath the steering column. And you have two bolts here. It's either 930 seconds or 7 millimeter. You could use either one. Or you could use, an, you could use a Phillips head. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take these off. That's one. And that's two. Alright, now I just got to grab this and pull it off. It'll pop out just like that. Now this plate comes off. Same thing. These are also 9.30 seconds or 7 millimeter socket you could use here to get these bolts out all right now you got two plastic rivets here now if you could see right here you see that slot over there or the slit I like slits just in case you guys didn't know you can put your little screwdriver a little flathead in there but I'm using my favorite tool, which is a staple remover, I got this from Home Depot. So you just put it in there to pop that top off, just like that. And once you do that, you can just pull that out. And then you can just take this from behind and just pop that out. Okay, now if the slit isn't positioned in the right spot, you can just grab it and move it just like that to where you want it. And now same procedure here. Now this one in the corner here. All right, now you can just put this to the side. Leave it right there. And you can hear it right there, that's the actuator. Now you gotta take these bolts off here. Okay, that's a 5.5 millimeter bolt right there. So, you go in there with a small little quarter inch ratchet a little extension on it and it comes right off so that's one just so you guys know where we're at this is the brake pedal and the gas pedal and the actuator is over here this area right here so just, so just so you guys know what I'm doing over here. Alright, now over here, I'm going to take this and pop it out of here to put it out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead under, under here with my little pry tool. Just pop it out like that. And you see this thing? It goes out of the way. Alright, now I'm just going to pop this out of the way. To do that, you put your little flathead in here. And you wedge it in there, 
and that thing should pop right out. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. Because I got the camera in my face. Just like that. It slides right out. You gotta push this up and slide this out. All right, now to the top and to the right is the other one. So you just need the socket with the ratchet, no extension on this one. All right, it's on there. Just crank away, baby. There you go. Alright, now you just grab this thing and pop it out. Just like that. Alright, now I'm putting my flat head here. I just gotta get that clip, pop it up, and this whole thing should pull off the harness. Right there. And this is it. So you're pretty much putting your little flathead over here, you're moving it up and pulling this out. Okay, so we're using a doorman, part number 604-108, air door actuator. Now the air door actuator, the heat door actuator on the driver's side, passenger side, and also the passenger blend door actuator, all the same part number. So they all interchange. This is the old one. Now, the position over here, you got to get the other one in the same position. That's how I like to do these. So, what I did here was I just rigged up two wires, one going to the battery positive, one going to the negative, and put one clip over here, and the other clip, when I touch it here, it's going to give power to this, and this is going to turn. So, I just want to position it the same position as this. Now you can also do this on the car with the harness, but over there it's a really bad spot. So I'm not going to do it that way. So once I touch this terminal here with this alligator clip, you can see this thing turn. So I just want to position them exactly the same way, these two. So let me go ahead and do that now. And that's about right. Perfect. Now this is the old one, I put power to it, and as you can see here, the plastic gears, once you put a little pressure here, they can't turn it. There's plastic gears in here, they wear out. Alright, now putting this in, remember, the bolts go through here and here, these two diagonal corners. This, there's a little dowel plastic pin up there that this goes on to. It's going to go through this hole on top here, this corner piece. And over here, this, this rod over here goes in there. So let me show you what I'm talking about up there. Okay, this is where that thing that we turned in the back, it slides onto this. And now that's the dowel pin that goes in through that hole I showed you in the corner of the actuator. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in now. All right, now comes the fun part. Pop this bad boy in. So, put that rod in first, the white rod. Just like that. Okay, now I'm going to put the bolts in, figure tight. That's good. And I'll put the other one. And that's good. Okay, now get this one here. That one's good. 
And now without the extension, do the top corner one. And we're good. All right, now you can put the harness in. Just clipped in and it's in. Now, some of you, it might be easier to put it on before you do that, but either way. All right, now, before I go any further, I'm gonna put the key to the car, turn the car on, put the heat on. Put the heat on on the, on the driver's side. Turn the heat off. No noise, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, now this slides in. Just like that. And now this clip slides back on here. Just like that. Now when you put these plastic rivets back in, if they pop out, these only go in one way, so you turn around till it goes in, and let me just pop this in real quick. All right. Now keep this out, push this one first, then this one down. So over here, I'm putting this plastic piece back on, and put this in the hole, and pop that in and it holds it in place. Go ahead and do the other two now. This one, and the last one back here. And now you put the plastic uh, dowels over here in first. So one goes here, the other one goes there. You put two screws over here. It's good. That's good. All right, put these four clips in here. Just line them up and push them in. All right, now put the bolts back in, the two bolts over here. And the last bolt here. So that's how you install a heat door actuator on the driver's side of this car. Thanks for watching and remember, if this client can do it, so can you. So like my video, share me, and do the hell you want to me. See ya!